And when you eat, guys, a lot of us don't know that energetically the body has to process that. It's like a plant, like an energy plant. So you keep putting a bunch of stuff in there, then energetically the body has to go and process that. And so when it's processing, it takes away from your natural gifts and energy and where you can be. Blessings and blessings from my home. I felt inspired and have been meaning to make this video for at least a week and a half now. And so we're gonna have a chat about this stuff and a choice or a pattern that I have chosen to follow as it pertains to when I eat and don't eat. Now, this stuff is called apple cider vinegar, and it is nasty as hell. However, it's really, really good for you. Um, it kills bacteria, it promotes heart health, uh, it, it really supports the gut and the skin, and uh, apple cider vinegar is just known to just be amazing on all levels. Um, one of my favorite things about this video already is the toilet that's back there in the background making its appearance and deciding to be a part of this video. So uh, everybody say hi to the toilet because clearly the toilet wanted to be here and be a part of this. Um, and number two, um, say hi to this apple cider vinegar which I am about to take a swig of because um, I've been choosing to wait to eat and when I do I have a swig of this about two to three times a day. So apple cider vinegar, I'm not sure if you guys ever tasted it, but it's definitely not awesome. It doesn't suck either. You kind of get used to it, but mm. it's got a tangy feel. You just like kind of wake up like, right? So I have chosen to do an experiment around fasting and I did watch a bunch of documentaries and did some research and had a conversation with uh, Alexi's cousin, Evan, about this whole thing. And there's just, I mean, even in the Bible, it talks about fasting. Um, and not that that's like, means anything, but there's so much magic that can come when our bodies is not consumed with trying to process food. And so for me, in my journey, I decided uh, not, you guys don't know this and this may be TMI, but back a year ago, um, and the year before that, and the year before that, and the year before that, really, uh, essentially most of my life, I have had trouble uh, with digestion, with my gut. And for those of you who aren't aware, I'm sure you are, there are three centers of intelligence, the head, the heart, and the gut. And the gut has more going on in just that, you know, sort of in the intestines and, and, and inside of your gut than is going on in your whole body. Like there's more going on in the gut than is happening in the whole damn body. And so for me, I would usually poop maybe once a day, maybe once every other day. Like it was that bad. And I was doing colonics, which was really helpful. Um, it's like taking a shower from the inside out and taking digestive enzymes and all kinds of stuff. Like I've been trying everything to regulate and actually, you know, have my body act as a sewage system and get rid of the waste and the stuff that it doesn't need because I would eat one thing and my belly would swell up and get really hard. And so I've done all these blood tests and all this work and like literally I had, I had parasites, uh, Giardia and a few others that I got from Bali and a waterfall and probably from some other places we've traveled to and that's a part of traveling is you get shit that you don't want to bring home but you have these little people who come live with you inside your stomach. So I got rid of those things. However, I still was not uh, regular. And I decided to go on a two month experiment, basically, of making, seeing what happens if I did intermittent fasting and apple cider vinegar. And intermittent fasting, for those of you who don't know, basically just means that you don't eat until after one o'clock p.m. So 
you allow the body to use all that it ate the night before as energy for the day and allow it to sort of do its thing and you use that energy um, up until one o'clock and at one o'clock you have your first meal. Um, and so I've been doing that for about two months now and guys, 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 oh my goodness, it works. One, I poop every single day, um, like two to three times a day, which is amazing. I know it's TMI, but the toilet is right there, and so the toilet is a part of this conversation. I do have water. I was having a little bit of coffee, but I stopped doing that. So just water for me uh, up until that time. These are the things that I've noticed, the results. One, I'm pooping regularly, and it feels really good. It just feels good. Like, I feel like my body is like working, right? So all those medicines, all that stuff I took, the thing, that was right under my nose that ancient wisdom has been talking about that's written in the Bible that's all over the freaking world right under my nose that doesn't cost this and that and is not this fancy new diet was right there which was fasting just allowing the body to process what it has eaten the night before okay so that's number one number two my energy levels and my brain capacity went like off the charts now, you would think if you don't eat, you'd be hangry and all of that stuff. And yes, it was a little interesting and weird the first week, but there's a, actually this thing that happens where you get used to it. And, and then because your body isn't trying to process all the morning stuff, you have more energy and, and my, my brain capacity, everything just fired off. Number three, my skin got much clearer and I just feel more like myself. And the thing that I added to that was the apple cider vinegar, right? So I've been drinking this stuff uh, a couple times a day, which has been fantastic and really helpful and like legit. I already have a lot of energy. I already am one of those people who's really amped up and high, you know, high energy or whatever. This took it to a whole nother level. My concentration levels just like off the meters. Just the way that my brain has been working and the energy that I use and my, my body. Like if I took my shirt off right now, like I, it's not like I work out or anything like that, but I do surf and every once in a while I'll do some push-ups or something like that. But like, I look like I've been working out. And of course there's like fat loss and that, a lot of people do it just cause they want to lose weight. And what's interesting about it is maybe I've lost weight, but it's the weight that doesn't like, I don't need that makes any sense. So uh, some people drink it with water. They'll do like uh, this much water and then pour like a quick thing, but I'll drink some right now. Uh, I just had some uh, a minute ago, but. <sighs> it's really tangy. However, really good for you. You can look up the health benefits. There's like a bunch. I know the ones offhand is it kills bacteria, promotes heart health, there's potassium and all that stuff, and there's a lot of other benefits. You know, I'm not saying I'm a pro at this. There's a bunch of YouTube videos and documentaries. There's a documentary called Fasting. I would definitely look at that. So basically, just imagine I wake up at usually around four, between four and 6 a.m. And I do not eat until anywhere from 12 to one. If I surf in the morning and do a bunch of physical activity, I'll eat at 12. If I don't, I will not eat until one. And then at one, I will have a meal. And then uh, I'll have another meal after five. And then just go hard in between that time and between like five and eight. And then that's it. And it has been freaking next level. Like I tell you no lies, guys. This may not be for everybody, but I'm telling you as somebody who literally had stomach issues and all of that stuff and was taking all this medicine and digestive enzymes and all that stuff. I'm pooping three times a day. My energy levels are higher than they've ever been. My skin is clearer. I feel more like me and it's just crazy. And then the research in, in doing research and finding out that this whole di idea of three meals a day was actually promoted to us as a culture. This idea of like, breakfast is the most important meal of the day was like a marketing tactic and we bought it hook like hook line and sinker and now the, the our whole culture and society is is like based around this idea that we need to be just eating a bunch of food just eat 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 and when you eat guys a lot of us don't know that energetically the body has to process that it's like a plant like a energy plant so you keep putting a bunch of stuff in there then 
energetically the body has to go and process that and so when it's processing it takes away from your natural gifts and energy and where you can be and so I'm not having any crashes I'm not needing coffee like hear me I'm not needing coffee or any like sugary things to keep me high it's, it's freaking amazing some of you guys know way more than me I'm not pretending like I know all this stuff I'm just reporting my experience of two months of doing this thing I, here's the thing just this idea that we need to have these giant American sized portions and like all of that stuff has been sold to us and it's not actually true with the capital T between apple cider vinegar and fasting my whole game has changed I'm already like I said I'm already high energy this just took it to a whole nother level and it feels really good and I wanted to share it so I love you guys I hope all is well um, and uh, we'll talk soon peace guys